Hi, my name is Dave and today I will be demonstrating how to install a PayRange laundry kit on a Speed Queen dryer with an MDC control board. To begin with, ensure the machine's power is turned off and then unscrew and lower the control panel. Once the control panel is accessible, disconnect the power supply connector label H1 from the machine's control board. From the PayRange harness, Insert the P1 pins into the two open slots in the H1 connector. The crimped edge of the pins must face towards the clip of the H1 connector. Inserting the pins in any other orientation will just result in the pin getting disconnected. Please note this is AC voltage, so polarity does not matter. Plug the 7 pin flat connector from the pay range laundry kit into the control board. Ensure the tab at the ends of each flat connector is pointing towards the catch on the board. Disconnect the 12-pin connector from the machine's control board label H5 and connect it to the female 12-pin connector from the pay range laundry kit. Plug the male 12-pin connector from the pay range laundry kit into the H5 connector on the machine's control board. Plug the pay range blue key into the laundry interface module located on the pay range harness. Plug the H1 connector back onto the control board. The laundry interface module and pay range blue key will have the LED light turned on to confirm receiving power. The laundry interface module will have dip switches that need to be configured correctly to ensure proper functionality. If the machine accepts coins and pay range, dip switch number 1 is set to off. If the machine is a washer, dip switch 2 is set to off, or if it's a dryer, dip switch 2 is set to on. If the machine is a washer-dryer combo, dip switch 2 is set to on. Configure the machine by pressing the top two buttons simultaneously on the first column to enter manual mode. The display will show rapid. To navigate, use the up and down arrow buttons. Press the arrow up button until PROG is displayed and press start. Continue pressing the arrow up button until PLSE is displayed and then hit start. This value needs to be set at 25 cents. Pushing the start button will move left to right and the up and down button will increase or decrease the value. Once set to 25, hit start. If the display shows CYCL, the programming is complete, but if PLSN is displayed, change this value to 192, and when A type is displayed, change that value to number 3. Once completed, return to the ready mode by pressing the top two buttons from the first column simultaneously twice. 